A muscle contains many muscle fibers. A muscle fiber is a series of few cells. Each fiber contains a bundle of 4 to 20 myofibrils. Myofibrils are composed of thin and thick myofilaments, and each fibril is striated. Striations are produced by the arrangements of thick and thin filaments. Thick and thin filaments overlap to form dark A-bands. Thin filaments alone form light I-bands. The H-band within the A-band is where there is no overlap. The Z line is a dark line within the I bands. First, an action potential arrives at the synaptic knob. Calcium channels in the membrane then open up, allowing calcium to flow into the cell. Increased calcium causes synaptic vesicles filled with acetylcholine to fuse with membrane. Acetylcholine is released from the synaptic knob by exocytosis into the synaptic cleft. Acetylcholine is picked up by the receptors on the motor end plate of the skeletal muscle. Sodium potassium channels open up, allowing sodium ions to enter muscle fiber. The increase in positive ions inside the muscle cell initiates an action potential on sarcolemma. Action potential travels across sarcolemma into T tubules and stimulates the release of calcium from the terminal cisterni of the sarcoplasmic reticulum. Calcium floods over the thin filaments and binds to tropin and pulling tropomyosin off the active site on the actin. Myosin heads then deep to bind on the exposed active site on the thin filaments, forming a cross bridge. The myosin head pivots to the low energy state, releasing ADP and moving the thin filaments over the thick filaments. ADP being released by mitochondria binds to the myosin head, causing the head to break free from the active site on the axon. The myosin head becomes energized as ATP is converted to ADP. Calcium is pumped back into the sarcoplasmic reticulum and attached to calcic western. allowing tropomyosin to once again cover the active site, resulting in relaxation of the muscle.